How y'all doing with the Arkansas Brothers? We're gonna play a little music for you. <laughs>
gonna have fun tonight Ain't got the time for sorrow Dance until the morning light Oh, Emily Baby, come and go to me California, Tennessee Baby, come and go with me Come and go with me, come and go with me, sweet Emily. Come and go with me, sweet Emily. I'm Tim Hogger, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Jess Hogger, Jonesboro from Caraway. Yeah, we're the Arkansas Brothers. Arkansas Brothers, that's <laughs> right. Well, we got started. Jess and I uh, grew up over in Caraway, preacher's son, and uh, really started playing and singing in church. Right. And then uh, moved to Jonesboro. I was going in the seventh grade, Jess going in the tenth grade, and uh, played just living room stuff. Really, it was more Jess than me. And then uh, he, when I graduated high school, he, he was living with some guys kind of jamming around, got a gig, and a week later we were playing for and tips. And here's what it paid, okay? The drummer didn't even know that he was the only one getting paid. He got paid yeah. $20, Yeah. but they picked us up in a limo. <laughs> <laughs> and it was all the beer and food we could drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then fast forward several years, different lineups, we got together about 12 years ago when Skinny J's opened downtown here in Jonesboro was about the timeline, and uh, we've been doing this lineup ever since. Welcome to NEA On Stage, live at the Forum. I'm Christy Pulliam, Executive and Artistic Director at the Foundation of Arts. I hope you are as inspired as I am by the excellence in these local musicians and performers, and by Ritter Communications, who have partnered with us to make this happen for Northeast Arkansas and beyond. The Foundation of Arts has been home to literally thousands of artists over the past 33 years, and we will rise to meet the challenges that are today. That way, we can still be home for everyone who wants to grow together, learn together, heal together, and share in the truth and beauty that is the arts. Thank you so much for being a part of the Foundation of Arts in this way, and enjoy NEA On Stage live at the Forum. At Ritter Communications, we're dedicated to being a caring community partner. We invest in the communities we serve by supporting local nonprofits, academic programs, local athletics, and events that bring us together. We create the connections that strengthen our communities. Ritter Communications, right by you. In a sprint, I'm old. Afternoon delight. Even late at night. 
You don't really matter to me. Just hit me up and let me know that you're free. Baby, baby, yeah. Baby, baby. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, honey. Crazy loving. But you kissing and you're hugging. Oh. Drive me crazy, you're driving me crazy, cause you ain't my baby, no, no. You don't really matter to us. Hit me up and let me know that you're free, baby, baby, yeah. Baby, baby.
the party's over, the sun coming up. A who put them drinks in a, a Dixie cup. And I can't wait till next weekend. Hey, we gon' party all over again. Hey, hey, drinking and kicking with my friends on the weekend. That's what I said. Drinking and kicking with my friends. On the weekend, hey, hey, drinking and kicking with my friends. On the weekend, on that weekend, weekend, I can't wait now. Drinking and kicking with my friends. On the weekend. Who's your biggest influence, Matt? That's tough to say. Uh, There's so many great ones around here that we... Yeah, I mean, I, I've definitely, if, from the rockabilly and more That's rockabilly right. blues side of things. Yeah. So around here, Sonny Burgess and Billy Riley. Yeah. Two big time uh, influencers and friends. Yeah. So. I, I, I was... I was front row center in 1987 watching Spinner. Tony Spinner. Who <laughs> I was talking about that earlier, yeah. you know. <laughs> and it was packed. I mean, and it was packed, and it was so good, man. Yeah. But, you know, all the blues guy, you know, Muddy Waters, Alan, Alan Wolf. Alan Wolf. Sonny, because we, you know, Jess, Jess got into, um, well, I guess we kind of all did, but Stevie Ray Vaughan was huge, and so he saw Stevie in, like, 86 or something no, in Memphis. Right before he died. It was yeah. the year he died. 90. And then I just started listening to blues. Any blues I could hold up. You know? Yeah. I went to Memphis. I went to Pop Tunes and I said, give me the best blues record you got. And they gave me Muddy Waters. And that, I mean, and it just takes it there. Because it was like, freaked me out. It's like, we wanted to hear what he was listening to to get that good, you know? Yeah. And so yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. And that's what got me on harmonica, too. You know, I was just kind of fiddling around with whatever. And then I got a harmonica and it was like, man, it just kind of clicked. So this program, NEA On Stage, live from the forum, it was really interesting how it came about. We have a local community programming channel called TubeTown, and normally this time of year, those people would be involved in taping and producing local sports, high school sports like baseball games and graduation ceremonies and all sorts of stuff that's now been canceled. At the same time, we know that our local musicians around Northeast Arkansas have lost access to gigs that they previously had scheduled, they've lost venues that they can play at, and they've lost connection with their audiences. And third, the Foundation of the Arts, which operates the Forum in downtown Jonesboro, had a number of productions scheduled for this spring that have had to been canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So when we considered all those three things together, it's almost like a light bulb came on and we said, wait a second, we can book these artists to perform at the Forum doing it in a social, socially responsible, social distancing sort of way. Uh, we can use our TubeTown staff to record and produce a show based on those concerts. We can put that show on TubeTown and on our social media, and it'll benefit the artists, it'll benefit the foundation of the arts, and it'll benefit our viewers who will have an entertainment alternative that they might not have had otherwise. So it really uh, wound up an ambulance to kill three birds with one stone and have a, a positive impact with resources that wouldn't have been used otherwise. You know, we're really pleased with uh, the support we've gotten from the Foundation of the Arts. They've generously allowed us to use the forum uh, as a venue for producing these shows. Uh, and the people that we're featuring are just incredibly talented. NEA has some great musicians. And I know personally, I have missed over the last several weeks the opportunity to go and see them live. So hopefully this fills that, uh, that gap for a number of our viewers. Uh, and we think supporting the arts in the Jonesboro community and in Northeast Arkansas in general is really important. So we're pleased to have the opportunity to do something small uh, to help support the arts during these difficult times. My name is Raynessa Chandler. I am currently the manager of technical support for Ritter Communications. Ritter is like family in more ways than one. My aunt retired after 33 and a half years here, and currently I have two cousins that work at Ritter. We have a variety of talented individuals. They motivate us and encourage us to do the right thing. We're grateful for the opportunity to work at a place such as Ritter and to be able to help others, because that's what it's all about, serving others. When 
bobbing now. I've been just a little bit of everywhere. But I've been known to sing a few. Almost home when I cross that by your view. I'm in that natural state of mind. This country boy get lucky sometime. I don't mind doing time in a natural state of Every day, people across the world are targeted. Some of us never fall victim, while others aren't so fortunate. It can happen before you realize, and it can start with a simple... Maybe you receive an email that you thought was from your closest friend, or your boss needs you to send some information that you know they wouldn't normally ask for. It can happen just like that. Cybercrime is real. Don't fall victim. Don't be scared. Be cautious. And think before you click. A friendly reminder from Calmer Solutions. Taking care of technology so you can take care of business. so much culture 
for the area that you wouldn't that otherwise needs it. get. That needs it. The foundation of the arts is the rock of the arts in Jonesboro, Arkansas, really. And, I, you know, of course, there's ASU, too. Downtown. It's the, yeah, downtown. It's, it's, it's the downtown. You know, when, down when, I, when we started playing, we had to go out of town to play. Mm -hmm. There was nowhere to play. And now, we don't have to go anywhere. People are like, why don't y'all go to Memphis? Why don't you go to Little Rock? Why? Well, we can make more money right here while I drive. Well, we do go. Well, we do. We go. do. We but do. What, what I'm saying is we don't have to. Right. I mean, we, we like it here. I'd much rather play five minutes from my house any day. Put the headphones on and play. Right. And make mistakes. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I still prevalent. Mistakes are in or, every performance, you know. Yeah. Forget it. Get the <laughs> hey, put, put your put your parents. put your PlayStation down and yeah. pick up a guitar. Yeah, I, you know, I'd have a backup. I think we're starting to lose all this because all the gaming. You know, yeah. we we all locked ourselves in our rooms and played music you know? or listened to tapes or, or, oh, made, or recorded you know, tapes. Yeah. We used to listen to the blues show on Rock 103 every Sunday night and dub it, yeah. and we listened to it, and then we'd make copies for our buddies. You know. Hey, again, we're the Arkansas Brothers. I would like to thank the Foundation of the Arts. Ritter Communications and the forum for having us. This is my buddy Matt Pierce on the guitar, my brother Jess Hoggard on the other guitar. My name is Tim Hoggard. We're going to play a little gospel music for you. I'm going to lay down my burden down by the river side. Hey. Down by the river side. Down by the river side. I'm going to lay down that burden down by the river side. Study you want no more. Put down my soul is healed. Down by the river side. Hey, down by the river. Down by the river. I'm gonna put down that soul is healed. Down by the river side. How do you want no more? Oh, oh, oh. Ain't gonna no stir the one no more. The one no more. The one no more.
She said, I got some news this morning from Choctaw Ridge. Today, Billy Joe. 